morning you guys welcome back to another vlog at 6 10 in the morning i have a 6 30 a.m at 45 class also i hung that picture up right there last night such a good decision so welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is bianca I have to go downstairs and get some socks i've been wanting to get a new pair of workout shoes to wear to f45 on lifting days today's not a lifting day today's a cardio day but um because I need to wash these, but I have my Noble Knit Runner Plus, and the base of them is just so thick, which I love for running or for cardio, which, speaking of running, okay, so I canceled my Orange Theory membership, and I think I'm gonna start going to Berries here, like, every other week, so I can get a run in for, like, a form of cardio, so I can just start going there. Side between getting the training like CrossFit shoes from Noble or trying out a pair of APLs and the APLs were on sale so I ended up doing that. Anyways, I'm here now. Um, I was gonna be late so I decided I probably needed to leave but the APLs were on sale and then also, I mean, they ended up being around the same price, but also I read in the reviews that Noble shoes are really good for people with flatter feet and I don't have very flat feet. Like I have a, I have a good arch so I didn't want my foot to like cramp up in them or anything so I'm trying out APLs plus I liked the way that the APLs look better so you know all around thought it was best to go with APLs also I also just realized I forgot to get, bring a sweatshirt so yikes sometimes it's freezing in there but anyways I'm going in because the class starts in literally a minute okay well I planned to film in there and then we got like no breaks in between sets like none so I didn't film in there. I got my stretching filmed though, but I need, I'm trying to be better about filming during my workouts. It's just hard at F45 because it's go, 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 fast paced. You don't really have time to chill, which is why I like F45 and why I like that a little more than Orange Theory too. So anyways, I'm beat though. Cardio days are rough. That's why I was like, damn, maybe I should start going to Berries again so I don't lose my like endurance. The cottage endurance. Crete. Me reading ever or reading, listening to. Can you say reading when you're listening to an audiobook? Because like you're not reading, you're listening. So I guess it's listening. But then, like when you're done with it, do you say I've read that? It's really confusing because I don't want to feel like I'm cheating. It's just like my only way to really get books in. You know. Say bye. She was just waving. I tried to get it on camera. Bye. Bye. Colin's off to work. I just gave her milk and a juice pouch. If anyone was wondering how much Murphy likes his food. Spin. Murphy, spin. Come. Spin. Spin. Good boy. You need to, if you want your food, you need to chill. Hi. Oh, are you watching Rapunzel? The sky is so pretty right now. I wonder if your pretty eyes see it. I need a good love. I wonder if you're ever gonna be in a couple of weeks. It has been raining all day today. It is such a gloomy day. Like we've been having these on repeat. So while Sutton um, slept and took a nap, thank God she took a long nap. I took advantage to wash and dry my hair. Then I made us a smoothie and spilt it all over me. So I tried to get it out and now we're here. I shopped the Aritzia clientele cell. So um, I want to open that, but I think I'm also going to make it a TikTok. So I want to unbox that. But other than that, we've just been playing and hanging out because um, the only thing I have work-wise to do is vlog and then I have a video going live today. I'm kind of going through the space where I like hate <sighs> social media. I'm posting on it. Right, Murph? Please, are you comfy? Anyways, going through this like social media phase where I like just don't care, <laughs> which is not good for the program considering that's like what I do full time. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like um, I just like the first time I got on social media today wasn't until like 11 o'clock. Like I feel like I just don't care right now and I just like would much rather live and be present in the moment and 
also just hang with my girl, you know? So anyways, I feel like I'm just having like a slump day, but also maybe the weather, like who really knows? But I'm excited to go through because I got some like, <laughs> I got your foot. I got some athleisure clothes to wear around. So I'm excited about those, but I feel like I'm just in a slump, like in a rut like even with content and filming and stuff. And I feel like what gets me excited right now is three things. One, the <laughs> apple. One is the thought of like finishing decorating the house. So I'm gonna finish off in the living room, then we're going to the bedroom and then like the living area and stuff like that, I think. But I think my next projects I wanna work on are like, oh, and the outdoor area, like get pool chairs and stuff and, um, make it a nice outdoor area but then after that i really want to just be in my baking era and make like actual cakes i've been on cake talk forever not that this is anything at all but i used to write on the cakes at dairy queen and i really enjoyed it so i feel like actually like making cakes would be really fun so i'm gonna try it i'm just gonna give it a shot and then also um i'll have to show you guys this when it comes but I ordered stuff to make my own sourdough bread because I was running, I ran out of my sourdough bread that I love from Trader Joe's and then I was like, Ugh, I don't want to have to go all the way to Trader Joe's to get, just to get sourdough bread. And then I was looking if Publix had a just sourdough loaf and they didn't and then I was looking around and like literally no one has a sourdough loaf, just a loaf so I can cut it myself. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to make my own. So I'm on that journey too. So making my own sourdough bread. And you can do like English muffins, you can do biscuits, you can do a bunch of things. My new focus. I just need a new hobby other than listening to books on Audible, which has definitely been a hobby of mine. I'm almost done with Every Summer After and it is the cutest book ever. I'm so obsessed with this book, but I just feel like, I don't know. I honestly, I feel like all social media it is, is like a show off platform. And anytime someone posts, it's really to be like, look at what I'm doing. And I do the same thing like all day, every day. And also it's like, okay, if you wanna go and leave the house, you have to spend money. And like, I'm not gonna just leave the house to go do something because then I'm gonna be spending money that like, why? You know what I mean? What, what is the point? No, I'm having a really tough time with social media and also like she does what I do already so much and I do not want her to like, she's not gonna have a phone for a very long time. But I just don't want her to be like all into her phone and like I want her to be not all into social media because I think it's actually really negative and I don't know just the, the older I get and the more I'm like starting to realize how valuable like time is and how much time people do spend on social media versus not and how much it really does affect and how much it's just a comparison game and how much it's just really starting to bother me. So I'm going through that phase right now. And a lot of the time I just feel like it's like, look at me, look at what I'm doing, like look at this, look at that. I mean, sharing like tips and tricks and being helpful and stuff is one thing, but also it's like, I feel like we always have to be doing something or something new always has to be happening or you have to be buying something or you have to be showing something off. As I say, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the Aritzia clientele cell. Like, lol you know what i mean and how earlier i was like okay i got apls but like those are to work out i don't know it's just like what is there to talk about other than like we stay and we play and we read our books and we like repeat words and we're doing all those things but also it's like that part of my life with her i really like enjoy keeping private and i don't like putting that much about her online really anymore because everything i not a lot like not in a negative but like there's always someone who has something to say about it and whenever I put her online, um, it's just like there's just a ton of things going through my head of when I put her online, but it's just like stresses me out sometimes. And there's some days where I'm like really good at posting and I'm like, oh great, that was fun. And then the next day I'm like, well, I did all that yesterday, so I'm done for today. I just unboxed my Aritzia stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys now. Honestly, I think truly the best part about yeah. Aritzia is this bag it comes in for some reason. Make it make sense. So hot here. I've been living in like not really wanting to wear like clothes clothes because it's so hot. So like at leisure. Oh, excuse me. So another reason I'm like just 
so not into social media right now is because she naps for like two hours a day and I feel like in those two hours are the only times I really get to like film content and do things and it's just kind of like stressful and I could hire like a nanny or something but that's just like my own problems I need to work through because I just don't want a nanny like I want to be the one to mother her and I want to raise her and like hang out with her all day and not that having a nanny is bad I do not think bad about anyone who has a nanny I was a I literally was a nanny okay it's just that if I can stay home with her and like be flexible with my work right now then that's what I want to do like I just don't I mean I should just hire an assistant for me honestly but we're just like financially not in this spot to do that because we are trying to save for a house and it's like that money could be going to save for a house you know what I mean? uh-oh she dropped my phone I don't know honestly I have like a lot of things that I feel like I need to work through right now sorry this is such a chatty vlog I'll show you guys my stuff in a second mainly like the whole like working thing I need to work through and figure that out it's like if I don't know I don't actually I don't know actually no my mom being here will help but then also my mom said that she might get a job here instead I don't know that like see everything's just I don't know right now which stresses me out because I'm such a planner but what I do know is I want to be with her and I love hanging out with her every single day. Are you okay? Does your eye itch? And something else I need to work through is going out in public. <laughs> Just in general when I'm alone with her because I'm not good at it because I'm a paranoid like freak. And I think whenever I go out in public and it's just me and her I feel very anxious I have anxiety through the roof I probably need to go back to therapy and work through my stuff like the way that the world is right now I don't like going in public when it's just me and her okay I just feel very vulnerable and when I go out I want to vlog and I want to like take content if I do that then I feel like I'm not fully paying attention to her and fully like protecting her and so then it makes me not want to go in public because I get really anxious and I feel like I just feel really vulnerable and unsafe <laughs> and it's not even just Georgia like I think I'd feel that way if I was in Charlotte too but I just like there's so many like crazy people in this world and I just like I don't know I'm just like very hyper aware but also like so just like it's I don't even know how to say that I've already like cried about this so many times that I'm like past crying about it and I'm fully aware that I completely have like a serious not problem but it's like there's some things that I like seriously need to work through to where like I if I'm out in public with literally just one other person like it could be my mom it could be Haven it could be Colin it could be Wesleyan and I'm with somebody else and her I feel fine I'm not anxious at all like whatsoever I'm like I don't know it's the weirdest thing but if it's just me like I can't even literally leave the house because of how anxious it makes me if it's just me and her so anyways I'm like going through some things right now clearly that and then thank you I had to give her Miss Rachel because here you go um I'm trying to talk to you guys and do this son's in a really bad mood right now so I'm gonna finish this let me just show you guys what I got can we show them what mommy got for Maritzia First off, I got this black workout skirt. I have a green one from Set Active that I really like, and I think I'm in my workout skirt little era, so I'm gonna try out this black one from Aritzia, obviously. This is the TNA Move, Move Slice skirt, and um, I got it in a size medium, so hopefully that works. And then I picked up this set. I saw Caitlin Nolan wearing this, which if you guys don't follow Caitlin Nolan, I haven't really talked to her about her very much, but I feel like she's a really good person to follow because um, she's just like really health and fitnessy and like motivating and positive. But anyways, here is the sports bra that I got from, I think this one's TNA too. TNA Butter um, Mini Racer. I really hope this fits my chest. I guess we'll see. Um, but she was wearing this underneath like a blue button up and it was so cute, but I just really liked this color. Okay, if she's not going to listen to Miss Rachel, then I'm not going to have her playing. And then I also got, oh my god, wait, why are these a small? I could have sworn I got a medium. Okay, I could have sworn I ordered a medium in these. I'm going to have to go back and back check. I can't imagine in like any world that I would have ordered a small. Um, but I got these uh, high-rise 5 
Okay, and then I got some sweat shorts because I wear my blue ones all the time. My camera's about to die too. Cool. I wear my blue ones from Set Active a lot and the brown ones I have in this same color. So I got the uh, Cozy Perfect uh, High Rise sweat shorts and Heather Oatmeal, which I have a sweatshirt to match that already. Uh, different pair of sweat shorts. These are the Perfect Cozy Perfect 5 inch. The waistband is different on these. These are like more of a boyfriend fit. I saw that Aritzia came out with their own version of the scuba zip up quarter zip so I wanted to try the Aritzia version versus the Lululemon version. Another cloud white color to match my shorts but I also have sweatpants that'll go with this too. Aritzia honestly has my favorite sweat sets. I think Set Active's done a really good job of like um, evolving their sweat sets. Like this is my latest sweat set from um, Set Active and it's so soft and when you wash it it stays soft. My other ones kind of went into like a more of a terry feel of a material. So um, anyways, my favorite place to get sweat sets is Aritzia and Set Active. I've been buying more Aritzia lately because it's less expensive than Set Active, but Set Active is truly a match. Like, I love their sweat sets so much. They're, like, newest version of them, um, which is good because I guess if you guys got them, then, like, that's all that would come out, but I'm tall, and the, uh, um, Set Active sweatpants fit me so well, and then if I get them from Aritzia, I just feel tall, so I like that they have that option. What are you doing? Okay, See, and this is why I'm like, I want to pay attention to her because now she's like playing around and having all this fun and stuff and I'm like missing out because I'm over here trying to film. And when she was sleeping, I took advantage and just washed my hair so I like was confident in even making the content because my hair was literally greasy beyond grease fall, like so bad gross. Anyways, I'm just so conflicted with life right now. Like I'm really going through a huge like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? And you really want to do it if you're happy and you know it's not your feet. Murph. You want some food? Colin just came back from my 45 inch popo. Murph, you want some food? You want some food? <laughs> you want some food? I think we should go to Chipotle maybe, or Cadoba like this weekend or something. I'm cool with that. It just opened, so. I just didn't want to drive out of the way. It was a little bit out of the way. I get it. It should be nice though because it just opened. That rice good? <laughs> good morning. I just got back from F45. I didn't vlog this morning because so I got out of bed late, but I went to 6.30. Colin's still here. He's about to leave for work. She got her up, changed her pants, got her dressed. She's wearing her Zara outfit. And then her gray sweatshirt. Say Murphy, come. Oh, big stretch, Murph. Did you brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. Just checking. Are your biceps sore? I think mine are sore from doing the rope. Upper body or lower body? Upper. I like, I like to. Mathis and I were quite literally talking the whole time though. Hey, can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. I love you. One of these days we need to come eat lunch with you. you. Oh, that's sweet, Sutton. <laughs> that's so sweet. You guys, I have great news, and that is besides the fact that it's raining, which is not great news, but the pool is done, and they just have to come and balance the chemicals for us to be able to get into it. I um, balance the chemicals, but it's really balancing out like the pH levels. My hair is so frizzy because of the weather, and I had to go outside because the pool people just left. So I haven't really um, been filming today yet because they were here like finishing it besides the chemicals. Okay, try now. Um, 
but Sutton's already gone to sleep, taken a nap, and I'm wearing a little, the little sweat set that I recently got from Maritzi. I think I showed you guys this yesterday. I'm like trying to remember what happened yesterday. Anyway, so here's the sweat shorts. I love these sweat shorts and I love the length of these. I think that they're perfect. The only thing I wish they had was pockets, but I feel like it's fine. And then this um, is like the scuba dupe, if you will because it is a little less expensive and it's so comfortable and then it has the hood. So anyways, um, the pool people just left so I finally showered and put this on so I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, and I just made us some smoothies and I ordered groceries while they were here because um, we needed to get a few more things for dinner but also I wanna make some sandwiches for lunch. So she didn't sleep for very long, so I'm just doing like a smoothie snack. Come on. We're all three just hanging out on the couch right now. And uh, plans aren't looking so good. I was thinking maybe today we could go leave and get a coffee um, just to get out of the house and do something. Um, but it's raining, so I think I'll just do an energy drink. And I think we're just going to sit and hang. And then I think I want to do like a fun chicken, like, Tuscan-ish sandwich for lunch. Okay, I took off my sweatshirt because I'm scared to get sandwich juice on it, but look at this sandwich. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to cut it. Hold on. So I did a chicken breast. I did a chicken breast in the air fryer. And then, for six minutes on each side, I put, oh my gosh, stop. This looks so good. Then I put sun-dried tomato, garlic, chopped onion, spinach, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of like heavy whipping cream. And I put that in a pan and sauteed it and made it like the sauce for the bottom and then topped the chicken with uh, some uh, mozzarella cheese and then na -na 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 -ha, a layer of spinach and a layer of tomato with this Tuscan brulee loaf mm. oh my god that is so good wow I maybe should have sliced some onion to go on top with the spinach and the tomato but it's too late now I'll do that next time but that is seriously so good. I'm so impressed. That was the best sandwich I've ever made ever. So I'm gonna have to recreate it for you guys this weekend in either this vlog or eh, probably in the next vlog. Because like I said, I looked up on TikTok but I couldn't find like a recipe that was simple. So I just kind of just eyeballed what they were doing and then made my own version. But I'm going to probably take my sweatshirt off now because I'm hot and conquer this front room. Which one day, I don't know what it's gonna be. We still don't know what we're doing with that room. You guys, seriously, mom's trying to clean up. Go and more. Saying go but signing more. I've made that progress so far. Being interrupted by a quick uh, high speed chase. One second. Okay, it's now time for dinner. I've made headway progress in that room, but also it's just so hard to get stuff done when your baby also wants to play with you. It's just a box of my shoes that I need to go through and get rid of and or keep. So I'm gonna work on that after dinner. Colin went straight to F45 from work, so I'm doing dinner tonight. And um, I found a recipe earlier and it sounded good. It's an eggplant, zucchini, um, oh shit, that away. Eggplant, zucchini, and rigatoni bake. If it's good, I'll, or I guess no matter what, I'll put the recipe down below. It is vegetarian, so if you guys are into that. Also, um, this morning on my way to F45, I completely forgot to tell you guys this. I finished reading, uh, or listening to, um, Every Summer After, and it was so cute it gave me such um the summer i turned pretty vibes 
and that just made me even more excited for season two. It was just like a nice, easy read, I guess, but I really liked it. So now I'm moving on to Thriller and I'm gonna read The Housemaid. Good job. Wow. That's so smart. <gasps> good job. Good, 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 good. Good morning, you guys. Dinner was so good last night. You should definitely make it. Colin was obsessed, Seth was obsessed, and we have leftovers for lunch today. It was just really good. So, highly recommend. Um, I'm drinking my greens right now and we're almost out of diapers and I have to send out a Poshmark order today so I do think that we're gonna do that at some point maybe get a coffee and then also just now changed the water filter in the fridge for the first time it was literally so easy I'm so proud it was like felt like such an adult moment the thing is I need to run my errands but I also don't know when the um, pool owner guy is coming by to balance out the chemicals for us and I don't want to be gone when he gets here so I'm like stressed and I don't have his number yeah this room is always so much brighter so let's you want to open them with me the main reason too I needed to change the filter was because I want to make my sourdough starter but our filter needed to be replaced and so um, I wanted to make sure I was using like good filtered water, you know. I think, yeah, this is my sourdough starter kit. So I'm going to go ahead and wash all this stuff so we can get the starter going. Here's the starter. Um, you can label it. And then also uh, there's like a cloth top and a measuring ring for the outside. Plus this spatula, which we don't have a spatula like that. So that's why I ordered that. And then I'm going to change her pants. The other stuff that I needed, because I don't have, literally, I don't have anything to make bread. We've got two of these bowls for bread. And then we also have, which I'm going to keep, it's like a cutter to slice it. Um, I really don't know what any of this stuff is for, but I'll figure it out. And, um, something to make the designs. Okay, so first up, I ordered book versions of all the books that I've listened to because I just like to have the physical copies of the books that I've read, and I need to get the physical copies of the books that I've read on my Kindle, too. I haven't done that yet, but, um, plus it's just easier to show on Instagram, and I like to have them all stacked. And I like to put them on my bookshelf. It's just the way I am. And I saw my friend Kara post that the other day. That she has to have a physical copy of every book she read. And I've never related to something more. It's just like, it's just you want to be like proud of it. And then if, you know, someone in here telling you about a book, you're like, you can just borrow it from me. You know? So here's Every Summer After. Okay. This is the one I just finished. I ordered the soft cover. Oops, sorry. I ordered the paperback version of um, Happy Place. It's just not here yet because it just came out, so I have to wait for the paperback version. What? Okay, here, come here. Come look at these. So I ordered um, Every Summer After, Local Woman Missing. Goodness. I also ordered Things We Never Got Over. <laughs> here, come here. Oh, thank you. I also ordered Things We Never Got Over because I want to read that after the book I'm reading right now. I think I ordered The House Maiden. I guess maybe I didn't. Um, okay, what's this? Oh, I also ordered more envelope bags to ship my Poshmark orders in. So I've been waiting for those to come too since I um, have to send out an order. I guess I didn't order the book that I'm reading right now, which I don't know why... I wouldn't have done that. It's coming tomorrow. Okay. I was like, I know I ordered it. 
Okay, what is all this stuff? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so you guys know I'm like redoing the dining room right now. So I ordered a new wall sconce because that's just like so, it, it was $20, so easy to switch out in the dining room. And I ordered Murphy a new food and water dis dish situation. I'm hoping the sun comes out because I want to like make a TikTok of me putting them up. So I'm not going to do these yet because I want to do a TikTok of like redoing the dining room. But um, yeah, hopefully... The, hopefully the sun comes out and then we can put these up today but i just um if i'm gonna order anything else it's gonna be a rug. if i'm gonna order anything else it's gonna be a rug from ruggable like one of the washable ones and they're on mega sale right now like they're on such good sale so i think i might just order um one of those for the living room and then the living room will be complete i have a piece of artwork coming for the wall and then we're just gonna keep it really nice and simple i need to change her pants really bad Okay guys, we're doing it. So feeding the starter, day one, you do a tablespoon of water and a tablespoon of flour and mix them together and leave it for 24 hours. So the first day is like really easy. I found this recipe on TikTok of a sourdough starter with no discard. And then I looked at the comments to see like what people had to say about it and um, there was a lot of comments saying that they did it and it worked and it's so much easier and like yada 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 So I'm gonna attempt to do this and just see how it works out But if I mean if I fail I fail and then a tablespoon of water filtered water, obviously <laughs> Sutton and Murphy are playing Now we just mix this together then I think my mom's gonna come back Monday So by the time she's here She'll be here for when I bake it, which will be good I can have her moral support. Then I'm just gonna leave it in the kitchen, obviously. Okay, I decided we're just gonna run our errands. I'm freezing, hold on. So I tried, I tried the workout skirt on and it's so cute, I really like it. I feel like it fits really well and then I'm just wearing this aloe yoga sports bra with it right now, but I'm gonna throw this sweatshirt back on because I'm kinda cold. So I'm about to make us breakfast. Um, I just kind of did some skincare and put on some blush and did my eyebrows. I think I'm gonna make her French toast because she really likes it. I've been really liking doing like an arugula with egg waiting on my sourdough um, with like sun-dried tomatoes and fruit. I just, it's really good at the moment. I'm just been craving arugula. Moving on to this ugly thing. I literally hate it. It's, I just don't like it. So I got a new one. It did not take me very long to realize that I was in way over my head to do the sconce. So I'm gonna wait for Colin to get home from work because I cannot wire or do anything like that. But Sutton did sleep for two hours. What? Sutton slept for two hours, so that was nice. I was able to get a lot done. And now we're just eating leftovers for lunch. Okay, guys, we're about to go run our errands. Getting ready. 
We have to go to the USPS store, FedEx, and then I think I'm just going to go get diapers from CVS. And I think I'm going to get a small package because one of you guys commented about uh, like all natural organic diaper brand that comes on subscription. And I think I'm going to look into that because I literally going to get diapers all the time is so annoying. Literally, of course, it started raining. We're here already. You're fine. Here, and grab her. my sconce. I just changed for solid core. I'm ahead of Ready? There. Taking a 630 class, so I need to go. Whatever it is, it's something insanely. We're starting off with raised eyes well. Finished up at solid court today was um, leg wrap so that means like just a bunch of different leg situations so we did center glutes outer glutes inner thighs outer thighs just like the whole whole leg and then um, I called Colin twice to see what he wants me to get for dinner I just said I'd call him after and then I'd pick something up for us because he just um, made something I don't know he made something dinner uh, and he hasn't answered so I'm right next to the perimeter target as usual. So I'm running in here to see if they have um, a Dutch oven so I can bake my, I know you don't have to have a Dutch oven, um, but I just feel like I would like a Dutch oven and then I need to get more parchment paper. So um, I'm gonna see if they have a Dutch oven. I'm sure they have parchment paper. And then um, wait for him to call me because I'm around a bunch of food options right now. So I don't wanna start driving home and then him want like sweet green or something. So or Chipotle, which is literally right here. So yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna run in and see if they have those things and wait for him to call me back. It's 7.30 and I looked and he's like Sutton's room light is still on so she's not asleep yet. So I'm like, okay, are you gonna call me back or what? Before you start putting her to sleep. And if he doesn't, he's gonna get sweet green and he's gonna like it. I ended up calling you back while I was in uh, Target got my Dutch oven Magnolia um, It's like from Chip and Joanna's Joanna games line of stuff in Target sorry, I'm shedding my hair my hair is shedding So I ended up just getting one from is it called Magnolia table like what even is it called? I don't know and he sees me, but he's stifled. um so, found a Dutch oven, and then while I was in there, um, Colin called me, and he said he wanted sweet green. So, I was like, okay, amazing, perfect, because that's exactly what I wanted. And I ran and got that. This time, he got what I get, which is the Harvest Bowl. And um, they had goat cheese, which is the best. So, anyway, now I'm headed home, and I started listening to The Housemaid, and um, I think I told you guys that, but honestly, lately my brain has just been shot because I've just we've got so much going on. But I'm on chapter 22, and so far, really good. I feel like I have read so many good books lately. I'm gonna make a TikTok after I'm done with this one about books and get back on Book Talk because I used to be on Book Talk all the time, then I took my book hiatus. And I mean, I still Book Talk is still a whole like large section of my For You page, but. Um, yeah, I feel like I need to update because those, I feel like I've read like four and a half five star books in a row. Four, four and a half and five star books in a row. So good. So I need to update everybody on that. But anyways, headed home. I need to put it in my GPS. We're watching Black Mirror. It's this, no, but not this one specifically. Well, yeah, is it really a fan of the one I had last time? It was just way too much of a salad instead of like a mix. Like this one has like rice and stuff. My last one didn't have rice. Mm -hmm. Felt like it didn't have that much chicken either. Mm 
There's this place um, that me and Eric tried the other day. By Not today, work. but yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's called Willie's. Yeah. It's really good. It's like, kind of it's almost like it? Chipotle and like Cadoba, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe better. Really? Yeah. And but it's like, by your work? Yeah, there, but there's probably more like spread mm -hmm. out. But um, it's like, like the burrito that I got was a Philly burrito and it was like a Philly cheesesteak burrito. Mm -hmm. Eric got a uh, Frito burrito and it had like Fritos in mm. with like chicken and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. But they do like all kinds of crazy things. Like, so it was, it was really cool because they had the, a solid mix of all kinds of different stuff. But that was good. Good? Mm -hmm. Better? Mm -hmm. Cool. Alrighty, I just showered, didn't wash my hair. Don't know when I'm gonna wash my hair. I had to order more shampoo, so um, I don't even have any shampoo at the moment because Colin decided to start using my shampoo instead of just getting more bone and now I'm out. Here's my Dutch oven. So cute, I'm so excited to use it. But I love, I think I'm gonna make popcorn. I'm in the mood for a little bit of popcorn. Colin is playing video games tonight, so it's just me. So I'm thinking popcorn and Taylor Swift live stream and like a chick flick in the background of the just playing in the background that all sounds really good to me I'm really starting to love like the 6 30 p.m workout classes come back eat dinner shower and then just relax and have like a super productive day leading up to it I really do not mind that schedule which is funny because I thought I really enjoyed like um that I really enjoyed working out in the morning but the late night workouts are sometimes a really good vibe, especially because you just like call and put Sun to sleep and then I can just like go do my thing, like I can go to a Target after, you know, and then I can come home and just relax, except you do eat dinner later, which I don't like, I usually like to eat dinner earlier, but it is what it is. TV to work for some reason. I kept opening Amazon Prime and then it, I'd start. I need to go get my computer charger now. Gosh darn it. I was watching the summer I turned pretty again because I didn't know what else to watch. Too. I got him in here. Good, good, good boy, bud. Every summer since I was a baby, since before I was even born, all year long that house. The dad's come to visit, but it's 